Mm -hmm. Well, last year, an obituary in the Washington Post went viral. It was for Freddie Oberstegen, one of three women who seduced and killed Nazis in World War II as part of the Dutch resistance. It's a crazy story. Now, yeah. half a century later, over half a century later, their stories finally being told thanks to Sophie Poldermann. She's the author of a new book, Seducing and Killing Nazis, and she joins us now to chat about it. Sophie, thanks for coming on to the program today. Thank you for having me. I think a lot of people know the story of the Allied victory, you know, D-Day and the Americans and the British and the Canadians storming the beaches, uh, but the resistance movements in France and the Netherlands and Holland, they're a huge part of the World War II story, but one that's not often told. That's true, especially here in the United States, um, but a very, very important story and really uh, the story about female resistance is hardly ever told. Right. So I'm interested in how you found out about this story and why did it hook you to, to write a book about it? Well, I was a teenager uh, growing up uh, in, in the same city as these three girls, Harlem, mm. the Netherlands, um, under completely different circumstances. Yeah. But then I had to do a high school research project uh, on uh, a topic, and I chose Honey Schaft because she was the female icon of female resistance. Um, and um, yeah, then. I just got so fascinated with World War II um, and uh, the role these women played. I think about resistance movements and I just think, you know, if you're in occupied country, uh, just the fear that you must have, the brave aspects of this story, these women were teenagers at the time yeah. and they would seduce these German soldiers, high ranking officials, and then what would they do next? Um, yeah, well, you were correct. I mean, they were really, really young, 19, 16 and 14, the beginning of the war. And then they would really dress up nicely, go into bars, seduce these high-ranking uh, officers, lure them into the woods, wow. and kill them. It's insane. Wow. Yes. Wow. And, and you got a chance to actually meet two of these women as well. What was that like for you? Yeah, no, I not only met them, but I actually knew both uh, Overstegen sisters, Truth yeah. and Freddie, for 20 years. Um, already in high school, I interviewed Truce, and Truce introduced me to Freddie, and um, a special bond really uh, grew b between us um, because I was the future generation, and they thought it was very important for their story to be told. For two of these women, they w went on to live long lives, and that's wonderful. We'd be remiss not to mention uh, the other woman who unfortunately was caught by the Nazis, right? Yeah. True, through Hanni Schaft, the middle one, she was right before the end of the war, three weeks before the end. She was executed mm. by the Nazis. Right. Now, it's such a rarity to hear about women in war, right? Why was it so important for you to tell this story and get this out there? Well, being a woman myself, yeah. and I was a teenager already when I was interested in the story, I was looking for female strong role models and leadership. And, um, well, the, these three women were uh, some of the very few women in the entire world who joined the armed resistance. So I think we can learn so much from that, and the story has not been told enough, Thanks. I think. So that's why I decided to write the book. It's everyday people making huge differences in stories that deserve to be told. Uh, can, that's how change uh, the, is made. It, absolutely. The book is called Seducing and Killing Nazis, and people can find it wherever books are sold, I imagine? True. <laughs> All right. And uh, thanks for coming on here today. It's a fascinating story. It really right? is. It really is wild to think about. It should be a movie, honestly. Yeah, yeah right, exactly. Well, Fingers crossed. T tonight, I'm presenting uh, the book at the Oak Park Public Library. So oh. if you want to join at 7, please join That's me. That's wonderful stuff. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thanks, Sophie.